32 U.S. House and Senate lawmakers signed a letter sent to Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas expressing their concern about the U.S. visa policy for Chinese nationals entering the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. I warn people about this, uh, maybe unofficially or informally over, over just, you know, discussions, like be careful what you ask for, be careful how much push you have because until things stabilize, you know, uh, maybe this is not the time to be talking about this. The lawmakers say that NMI is the only U.S. territory where Chinese nationals can enter without a visa for up to 14 days. They describe the standards as extremely low. So do you support the letter or are you going to push back against it? Any no, I'm not going to push back against it. I think it's a, it's a pretty much done deal uh, with the Congress. I, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to change the members of Congress's uh, mindset on this. I mean, what do you say to those who are concerned that we need that third market and it has to be China because it's immediate and we've done it before? Well, obviously, there's, there, the, 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 the tourists have, have to be vetted. Certainly, what has happened uh, with sort of a, a wide-open visa waiver which created a, a, a problem created issues, albeit maybe unintended, right? But it's, it, it's going against the grain of national security. The senators and representatives, which also include Guam Delegate James Moylan and American Samoa Delegate Amata Radawagan, write that the policy has made the islands vulnerable to issues such as drug trafficking, illegal immigration, and organized crime. CNMI Delegate Gregorio Sablon did not sign the letter. KUAM has reached out to the delegate for comment. The lawmakers want DHS to change the visa policy and apply requirements equally across territories. The lawmakers urge the implementation of a requirement to obtain a B-1 and B-2 visa to enter the CNMI from China for business or tourism. Back on Saipan, the governor says he knew it was a delicate issue from the start. I, I thought that, that that visa waiver and the the market was very sensitive, given the, the, the geopolitical situation that we were in. And so I made that decision. I, I made that statement saying that, hey, we need to look for a, a, another market uh, that's more stable. Where that market is and if it will be enough to save the economy remains to be seen. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.